Friends, I'm really not uh, some kind of a gear fanatic. I'm not a gear head. I, I do have a lot of gear that's kind of accumulated over the years because of the YouTube channel and it's just, you know, sponsorships and stuff that's been given to me. But I bought I bought this. And, I, and so this is this is the box it comes in. This is the Zoom R4. I just purchased it. Um, really after going a couple weeks ago to the Asheville Guitar Show over at the Agricultural Center. You might have seen my video about that. It just occurred to me, wouldn't it be great if you had a short quarter inch cord kind of in your pocket or in your jacket and you had a, like a, a headphone amp recorder in your pocket and you could plug these guitars up. You know, it, it's like you're going to a convention like that and there's so much going on, there's so much noise. But wouldn't it be cool if you could put on a pair of headphones and had your amp and your recorder in your pocket and you could connect to guitar and see what a guitar sounds like, make videos with it. Uh, I can you know, go to a local music store, I'm just opening it up. This is what it looks like. You know, you got all your uh, stuff inside. So I'm not a big fan of unboxing videos, but I, I did, it's gonna take me a while to work through this and tell you what I really think about it. But I was gonna tell you that uh, I got one. I'm going ahead and tell you that some videos are forthcoming. Looks like it has a uh, you know, quick tour of it, how it works. So here it is. Wow, 32 bit float, four track recorder. You have four tracks there. But what you can do, I think you can take three tracks and bounce them to one. I got to figure it out. Is each track a stereo track or is each track a mono track? I know you can unli do unlimited bouncing with 32 bit float, which. Folks, I totally dig the. I got two other Zoom products that are 32 bit float and they're changing my life. Uh, just because I don't ever have to worry about setting levels again. The audio is pristine. I mean, just great. It can be stretched, it can be contracted, it can be transposed. Um, so it, it's the 32 bit float is revolutionary. And so this one does four tracks. I could say that can go in your coat pocket or something or your little tail. It's about a little bit bigger than a wallet. But yeah, there you go. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Piece of plastic over here to cover up the display. And I just pulled that piece of plastic off. It didn't break, it didn't take the plastic. Okay, so now that didn't work. <laughs> Be careful when you're trying to take the plastic off this, stuff, so I'll, I'll worry about that later. But yeah, so we got three, and these, these, these little sliders feel pretty nice. They don't feel too cheap. It is, it is made out of plastic, but it seems very tough. Let's open up the back of it and see what that is. So we've got, looks like four AA batteries. I've got some rechargeables. I guess I'll try some rechargeables on it. Wouldn't it be nice if you just kept, you didn't have to keep buying batteries. So I've got, yeah, there's one of my Westinghouse rechargeables. So I'll find where I've got the rest of these and get them all charged up. I'm not sure what kind of uh, battery life you're going to get with it. But there you go. You got your two quarter inch or XLRs, right? You can you can go the uh, this thing, or <laughs> or you could do a mic input. So dang man, you could you could do a uh, oh that's that's stiff. Wow, but uh, you can you could you could record a a song with this, right? You could record your band playing. Um, pretty cool. It's got rhythm built into it. You've got amps and amp simulations built into it. So you can hook your guitar in, you can have effects on your guitar and you can have amp models. I'm not sure if it uses impulse responses or what. I'm trying honestly to recollect what I've read about it. I've been waiting for a week or so for it. Got it through Sweetwater Sound. Um, I'm not gonna tell you a whole lot more about it. You can go read about it. I thought it would just make you aware of the fact that I have it. It's gonna be some, some uh, adjustment on my part to see kind of how this works here it's showing some pictures how you connect a guitar up to it and everything or a, a microphone condenser mic so i guess if, if you'll do a condenser mic then it has phantom power right i would say that has to be the case and i was trying to see you got rhythm recording setting up effects I was gonna see this somewhere give you the entire inventory in here of what all is included with this. You know, usually it gives you a specs sheet and I'm seeing stuff in various different languages, but I'm not seeing a spec sheet. 
but that's it folks the r4 i've you know i've i've bought zoom products for a long time i've had h2s h2n h1 h1n i had some other older four track one that uh, i didn't like it so much because it didn't didn't sync up it didn't behave well with video it wouldn't uh it would like this like the audio would shift and um so i wasn't happy about that but everything i've had since the h2 i've been happy with the only problem with the h2s and the h1 uh, uh top stuff is that it didn't have a 32-bit float it was 16-bit or 24-bit and uh you had to you had to worry about your levels with that not so with these you just plug these up you can't make them peak and that is amazing so yeah i'm not seeing specs here i guess i have to go online and read about it. there must be something you download that's it folks that's the box it comes in it's packed inside a piece of uh of uh cardboard like that you got some silica in there to keep it dry <laughs> if anybody even still cares about the box anymore zoom corporation you guys make great great stuff so anyway more to come on that i'll uh probably hook up to you know it might be cool just to hook it up to the helix and do some recording straight out of the helix with a variax or something or one of my other guitars maybe one of my strats or something uh, it would be cool to do the flamma guitar uh you know since we have all kinds of effects built into this and stuff maybe even even do a flamma uh into the into the r4 type thing and do some recording right now what you're just hearing on this video is just the sound off of a gopro hero 12 that's about a foot and a half in front of me all right folks got some learning to do got some homework to do uh peace to all who watch subscribe to the channel if you like i'll let you know the ins and outs of this piece of gear as soon as i'm as soon as i've figured it out take it easy okay so i thought i would do one quick test so i've got the r4 here in front of me about eight inches in front of the of the gopro so i'm gonna play you some gopro audio and then uh, playing some zoom audio <laughs> This is my old D50 from 1965. It is tuned to full step low. So you're playing a full step down. Let's play something. So this is using the internal mic, which is right down here on the bottom. You can see down in this part right down here. That's using the internal mic. Nothing is connected up to the R4. I don't know if I got it pointed in an optimal direction or not, but feel like I ought to have at least some audio on this video, right? It's an old gospel song. I've got a home in glory land that outshines the sun. I've got a home in glory land that outshines the sun. I've got a home in glory land that outshines the sun. Way beyond. Take it to the way. 